how to overcome the overthinking okay from where does overthinking come overthinking comes from confusion and lack of clarity remember that okay when you do not have the clarity about where do you want to how will you get there what do you need to do to get there uh what experience what learning do you need to have in your space to get where you want to be sometimes the confusion also comes because you may have the clarity that i want to get to that point but there are people in your life those are constantly reminding you and telling you that you cannot get there and it's not okay to get there uh, you're not capable to get there so multiple things are happening in our life where that reminds us that either our vision is not clear or if we have a clear vision maybe we are not capable So the first thing that you need to identify is which is your case. Is your case about not understanding where you want to be or is this case about somebody telling you or someone's voice is ringing in your head telling you that you're not capable enough to get there. So once you distinguish between the two, then you need to understand either you stand without clarity or either you stand without conviction because somebody has to tell you that you can't get The major missing link here is your self belief. What do I mean by self belief? Your self belief is your ability to be the person who will figure it out. Remember, uh, if you have ever walked on or ever gone onto the mountains. So when you when you're traveling on the mountains, you can never see the whole path encircling the mountain, right? When you're on the mountain you can just see the next turn. And that next turn could be 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters depending on the mountain and you cross that 20 30 meters and the next path arrives. But you have a faith that there is going to be the next path. And you have faith that as long as I can see this much path even if there is no path next I will figure it out. Right? So the most critical aspect of self belief is having the faith in yourself that I will figure out. Now, most people those who procrastinate, overthink or have negative thinking, self doubts, etc., you do not have the faith that you will figure it out. And not having the faith is the fundamental capability of self belief that is missing. Now I'm not going to the details of why the self belief is missing of course the conditioning since childhood that has happened since the things that you have learned since childhood the experiences that I've gone through hundreds of rejection we go through um multiple times we fail and all of us do that right but how come some people handle their failures and their rejection beautifully and their success becomes effortless and how come some people are constantly struggling to find a way for reject to get over rejection and failures right that's the self belief now can the self belief be cultivated of course it can be nobody is born without the self belief or nobody is born with the self belief we are all equal when we are born we all have that ability we all are asking for what we want now over a period of time how does your self belief diminish as i said earlier the conditioning that you have gone through as a child can create some major impact and There are four kinds of environment create the major impact on your self belief. One is a social environment. Now, how and who are you connected socially? As a child, as a teenager, when you grew up, what is your social circle? Are these people really talking uh, or thinking bigger? Or you are the one who is just thinking bigger and the rest of them are thinking with your cut. Do your people, those who are in your social circle, believe in you? Remember we are all social animals and you know how other people view us or their perception about us matters to us so no matter how much uh, you know you must have heard the quotes and motivational speaker speaking that you know uh, you shouldn't bother about what other people think about you that's not going to happen because we all get bothered by what other people think about us not everybody but definitely our social circle that definitely directly impacts our thinking The second environment that impacts your self belief is your economical environment. What kind of economical background do you come from and what sort of a uh, economical background that you are in right now? When I said about uh, economic economic means the financial background. What kind of financial background if your parents were in, how, where were you born in, uh, what kind of surroundings, the neighborhood 
uh what kind of conversations financially uh, i mean money wise you had had that creates a major impact on the human brain in terms of self thinking we say that money doesn't buy happiness right and it's a typical middle class saying remember this so don't fall prey for such things i come from a middle class family and i know i have heard hundreds of times that you know oh money doesn't buy happiness i don't agree with you. money may not be able to buy you happiness but money can create experiences in your life that can eventually become the beautiful memories in your life and that those memories bring happiness on your you know in your life or smile on your face right So how do you think about money impacts a huge time on your self belief the third part is your academic environment what kind of academic background did you come from and what sort of a academic uh, education now you may be great uh, academically you know there's this harvard study where um uh, harvard mbas were studied for 25 years and done the research on them to find out uh, what happened to this um, this uh, graduates you know and harvard graduates 1975 harvard is always been like amari iit hai वैसे harvard hai so it's like kind of like really revered uh, institution obviously all of them got equal opportunities right but only 3% of the people after 25 years were living extraordinary life that speaks a lot about our academic education academic education is i'm not talking just about your technical education like what degree did you get I'm also talking about of course it's important what degree and which college and which institute which alumni you which uh, uh, college of alumni you are and stuff like that because that's an uh, that's an environment that shapes you up at a young age but what is academic education are you taking right now have you enrolled yourself in any sort of a personal development remember your financial development or your business development can only far exceed as much as your personal development Remember that again I'm saying this your financial and business development can only exceed as much as your personal development and sometimes you get lucky so sometimes you may see suddenly an opportunity coming in and some things coming to you but they won't last because you are not ready to hold that kind of a uh, that kind of a money or that kind of a stuff so third thing impacts your self belief is the money money that you're making money that you have money that you're investing stuff like that. and you know a lot of people think that you know uh when i make money i will invest nothing can be further from the truth remember this when you invest that's where you make money whether it's the investment in yourself whether it's an investment in other kind of uh, well generation activities anything you have to invest in yourself first to get the results outside it's a law of nature right when you have the uh, you when you sow the seed when you nurture the seed that's where the plant comes in then it grows into a tree and that tree then eventually gives us a shadow flowers fruits respectively whatever we are looking for right so it's very important that turn in marum that affects your self belief is the academic uh, is the uh, financial and academic environment the fourth environment that impacts you big time is your faith the faith could be your religion the faith could be the energy or the god or anything that you believe in now you may be an atheist but atheist is also philosophy right we all believe in that there is somebody uh whoever it is i'm not saying even i don't want to get into a debate of this but i would call that person whoever is there is a creator of everything that creator what do you believe about that creator do you have undeterring faith on that creator Do you have undeterring surrender to that creator that no matter where I am my god is guiding me and I am going to get to where I have to go I just have to get out of my way how do I get out of my way ask yourself this question again and again I am stopping my progress nobody else has a power to stop my progress how do I get out of my progress the only way that you can get out of your own progress is from the space of self belief see all the people those who have been successful in their life not necessarily they were highly educated in fact like we know quite a few people those who are fourth pass those who are probably uh, drop out so stuff like that right where did they garner the courage to create such empires and create such amazing uh, businesses in their life i'm sure they also lack that self belief but they worked on themselves to get where they are so if you lack the self belief 
you will have cla- a lack of clarity lack of clarity will lead to the confusion and confusion will lead to overthinking i hope uh, this was a detailed explanation and i'm sure it helped a lot of people so can you please give our shraddha some good heart love 